to the ball game. I take me out to the... Hi, Dad. Well, where are you going? Baseball park, son. Gonna see a game? No, I'm donating this bag to the team. Seems that during the game yesterday, some scallywag stole what? second base and... Ah, uh, you don't understand. Disgraceful act. But, Dad, when a player steals second... I also thought I'd hang this out in the bleachers. Honesty is the best policy. You like it? Oh, it's keen, Dad. But about second base... Speaking of honesty is the best policy, have I ever related the fable of the frogs and the beaver? You see, Dad, a man on first is allowed to run to second when he... Once upon a time, there was a lake. Now, this lake was set so deep in the forest that it was virtually uninhabited, which meant that no one lived there. Well, practically no one. For, you see, a beaver had come across this lovely spot and built a resort home right on the shore. Now, our fable could have ended right there and everything would have been lovey-dovey if it weren't for two frogs that happened to come along. Their names, Romeo and Julius. That is what I call gracious living. Gracious, yes. How comes it beavers has always got the easy life? Yeah. Why do us frogs always have to live on a lily pad? Julius, if that is your name, let us take this home away from yon beaver. Romeo had a plan. It was both ingenious and colorful. Hey, hey, Romeo, what's the big idea? You are sick. That's right, Beaver. My friend here is in dire distress. Got a frog in my throat. No, you have not. You got the pox. Chicken pox? Frog pox. And with that, Julius went into a frenzied <coughs> exhibition of a frog with the seven-year itch. Of course, the unsuspecting beaver was scared out of his wits, not to mention the house. Well, sir, inside of one week, the once charming little retreat was turned into a shambles. Now, the runner on first has to keep his eye on the catcher, Dad. That little beaver, though, was as industrious as they come. He got as far away from the frogs as he could and erected a small but comfortable cabin. However, the cabin wasn't far enough away from those frogs. That is what I call rustic living. Gracious, yes. I, I mean, rustic, yes. I like this place much better than the joint we're in now. Once more, the clever frog launched a plan. That the frog, he's, he's busting my pipe. That beaver happens to be the famous forest ranger, Smokey the Frog. He's just putting a fire out. Oh, my goodness. I suppose he'll want to confiscate my matches, too, huh? Oh, you should never say the word matches. It sends Smokey into a veritable raid. Makes him mad, too. The beaver took off again, leaving the frogs in second place. Did you say second base? Second place. This time, it took the frogs only three days to demolish their new abode. And although three days isn't much time, it was all the beaver required to construct a rambling hacienda right beside a roaring river. Now that's what I call hacienda worm. Hey, ain't you gonna say hacienda yes? I can't speak Spanish. Oh. Well, uh, seeing as how our present premises is a shambles, let us swindle our way into this place. Ah, uh, you have to give the frog credit. He had an unlimited supply of plans. Ah, but so did the beaver. Now look, I put the fire out and I've given myself a case of frog pox, so it's no use trying to intimidate me any further. Oh, we wouldn't intimidate you for the world, beaver. Besides, I didn't build this house for myself. Who did you build it for? You. The frogs were shocked, but not so shocked that they didn't move in and make themselves at home. As for the beaver, this was all part of a cunning scheme in which he'd be free of the frogs once and for all, because, you see, haciendas are made of dry mud. And you know what happens to dry mud when it's hit by rain. It becomes wet mud. Yes, sir, inside of nothing flat, that hacienda slid into the roaring river. And as for the frogs inside it, they were carried off by the current never to be seen again. At least not on this show. And that's why I always say honesty is the best policy. Uh, you could also say grime does not pay. Yeah, I could, but I won't. <laughs> well, bye-bye, son. I've got to deliver this second base. Well, there goes Pop. Generous as they come. Oh, my gosh. I just happened to think... Supposing there's a game today and somebody steals home.